So now for Elizabeth, what I would do for this problem is I would remind her there's three things I'd want her to do. The first step is always, ladies and gentlemen, we need to prove that our first sum is going to work. So we say the sum of 1, and let's see, is that going to be the sum of our first term? Obviously, you can see the sum of the first term is just 1. So let's plug in 1 in for our sum. 2 to the 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. So therefore, the sum of the first term is 1, which we know is correct, right? Now, for induction, what we need to make sure that we do is now prove it for k and then show that k plus 1 is also going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what s of k equals. So s of k equals 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus dot, 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 plus 2 to the k minus 1 equals 2 to the k minus 1. All right, so this is just telling me how to get to the next term, and this is telling me the formula for the sum. Now what I want to do is find the sum of the next term k plus 1. So I say, all right, s of k plus 1 equals 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus dot, 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 plus 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 equals 2 to the k plus 1 minus, oh, wait, that's minus 1 down below. Sorry. OK, so now to, to pr prove by induction that this sum not only works for the first term, well, not only works for the second term, but it's going to work for every single other term, I need to show that s of k plus the next term, a sub k plus 1, is going to equal the sum of k plus 1. So if I can prove that the sum of any number plus the next term is going to always equal that sum of k plus 1. So I determine what is my sum of k. My sum of k is 2k minus 1. That's raised to the power. Plus, my next term is 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And that has to equal the sum of k plus 1, which is 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. All right? So now, let's simplify. Well, I can't do anything here. But here, if I have k plus 1 minus 1, that's just 2 to the k, right? So now I have 2 to the k minus 1 plus 2 to the k equals here, I can't simplify. All right, but now I have 2 to the k raised to the 2 to the k. That's like x squared plus x squared, right? Which would be 2x squared. So this is 2 times 2 raised to the k minus 1 equals 2 to the k um, plus 1 minus 1. Now I need to show, are those exactly the same? Or is that equal to each other? Yes? Why did you put? There's two of them. So 2 to the k plus 2 to the k is 2, 2 to the k. Oh, OK. Sure. Right? right? Now we need to look at that. We both have a minus 1. Is 2 times 2 to the k the same thing as 2 times k to the plus 1? Yes? What happens if it's 2 plus 1 minus 1? Oh, that's basically. I just combined the two k's. Now we need to determine. We both know we have minus 1's. Is this the same thing as that? OK, well, let's go back and think about it. They have the same base, right? Ladies and gentlemen, what's x squared times x cubed? That equals what? x to the x to the fifth, 2 plus 3, right? So 2 time 2 to the first power times 2 to the k, that equals 2 to the k plus 1. <coughs> so guess what? This is 2 to the first power. So 2 times 2 to the k, yes, is the same thing as 2 to the k plus 1. And since they both have the minus 1s, these are equal to each other. So therefore, the sum formula works. I know it looks like it's in a different format, but this is the same thing as that. Because if you apply the properties of your exponents, you will get 2 to the k plus 1. So these are equal to each other. Okay.